Hey guys, guten Morgen aus Deutschland, good morning from Germany. Since the last time I posted about her, she has posted one vlog and uh, did one live stream. So this is going to be a double feature because I just don't have the time. Uh, we're going to start with the vlog and then uh, peek into what she calls another live swim. Uh, if she doesn't swim or move significantly, I'm just going to dip out, literally <laughs> dip out. And so uh, let's get started with this, <laughs> the vlog <laughs> thumbnail. I can't, can you believe what they do, Amber and her, to stoop so low? Look at, look at that pathetic look on her face. Um, which by the way, she doesn't talk about the health problem she has. The title is, I have a new health problem, but doesn't talk about it. Just like Amber recently did in her doctor's appointment uh, a vlog where she didn't, she even said, oh, I just got home and I cried, but I'm not ready to talk about it. Chantal uses almost the same words. And <laughs> they're so pathetic at this point. I'm finding it, you know, I'm past the point again where I find it boring and repetitive and I find it amusing. Can you imagine what kind of situation you'd have to be in to find it necessary to act like them? Constantly troll, constantly lie, constantly make up stories that you're trying to string your uh, a few thousand uh, subscribers along with I mean all right let let's just do it um, let's see <laughs> what he's gonna have to what he's gonna tell us with that pathetic face and there she is not looking pathetic at all nice hi guys hey Chantal welcome back to another video yeah whatever <laughs> Why do they keep sounding so bored in their vlogs? I literally like woke up not long ago. Oh, so it's like two in the afternoon. And um Did you did, did you just have a large meal that we're gonna see in the format of a mukbang right after this? What happened? Why are you so exhausted? Weighed myself, so here's my way in. Oh, okay, just showing the scale, and she's known for messing with the scales. And uh, 157 kilos, absolutely not. Mm -mm. At about 100. I don't know how she managed to uh, tear this uh, scale, but she's easily 450. I have a huge glass of lemon water. I just I don't care because I watched the last few mukbangs. You do not care about your body. Just been, I just woke up craving it. I don't know, even know why. But... You're not getting a praise for that. Mm -mm. Dehydrated, I guess. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they could cut that stuff out, just like Amber in the last one, when she was sitting at a re restaurant, had to show herself sucking... Uh, the uh, the soda through that straw, right? It's almost like it's mandatory for them to get their cut from the feeders. That's good. Yeah, right. I put a whole lemon. Am I guilty of sometimes passing out without washing my face before I pass out? Yeah. You don't have to admit it. We've seen it in your vlogs. Yes. So but it's good. It's it's a good step in the right direction for her to admit certain things. Go wash my face. I'm gonna go shower actually. Soon. Yeah. Can you imagine um, being in this heat? I mean, she doesn't go out, but she probably feels it. Like, look, she has the windows. I mean, the curtains open, right? Uh, can you imagine being surrounded by cloth all the time, and you go to bed uh, with half of your makeup still on your face? And then they wonder why their skin keeps breaking out. So, you saw my way in there. Um, yeah, that was vague. Uh, but go on. I have no idea how I weigh that. I don't. I think I'm lighter than the last time. I was 157, maybe. 
do it. You need to look at your vlogs and maybe if, if you can't, like you're too lazy to do that, uh, check online or check on your reaction channels. They frequently do comparisons and there's absolutely no way you weigh 157. Nope, nope, nope. Kilos? I have to check. And I don't care because you lie it back then too. But like and again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pepper it in here every once in a while. To me, it makes no difference what Amber and Chantal weigh, but they lie about their weight and you can easily tell by comparing them. Like, let's say she looks a certain way and she says she's 200 pounds and then she looks like she's doubled her weight and she says, no, she's 205. That can't be right. I mean, that's an extreme example, but you know what I'm saying. And so when you're constantly gaining weight and you look much bigger than you did before, you're trying to tell people that you've lost weight and you weigh as much as you did back then. Uh, no, because mm -mm, we have eyes out here and we have memories. I don't know if Amber and Chantal have memories because they frequently don't remember their lies from before. Like she doesn't remember what she told us last time, how much she weighs, you know. And so, yeah, to me, it makes no difference what they weigh. That the uh, what I I'm not gonna let slide is that they keep lying. I have no idea how that's possible. It's not possible, and you can't imagine it. I know. The only thing I can think is maybe the swimming is working. Yeah, because you're not swimming. You even had to change the name of your recent live stream that you called Life Swimming or Swimming Life. Who cares? To Fat Girls Float. Which is, of course, fat shaming your own self, which you're entitled to do. Because, oh my gosh, have you worked hard on the way you look and how much you weigh. But yeah, uh, we're going to be looking into your next Life Swimming event. And let's see if... Uh, you moved any more than you did in the last one I had to cut off because you were simply just stalling, trying not to move, kept talking to the camera. It was pathetic to say the least. It like doesn't feel like exercise, it just feels like... Yeah, because you're not exercising, you're just stalling, you're just splashing about like a toddler. It's fun, you know, and like you feel a little burn, like if you're treading water too long or if I'm swimming too long without touching the ground but like i doubt it i doubt it like overall it's just like nothing. yeah you're full of shit that's the look uh that's the look right there full of shit thing so it doesn't feel like exercise what yeah because you're not exercising whatsoever that's why it can't feel like it and that's the kind of exercise i feel like i need right now yeah, you need to swim laps, you need to get out of breath, you need to push yourself, and you're not doing it. Well, I don't want to jump ahead, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see that in the latest live stream. You know, um, so uh, as the thumbnail says, I do have a new health issue that um, is being taken care of. Okay, and what's that? I'm on another medication now i don't want to say what it is okay but you would like to clickbait it so you've been watching amber's channel she recently had that uh the doctor's appointment clickbait because she didn't talk about what is ailing her so why even mention it these girls are so pathetic at this point it is ridiculous but again now i'm not t today for whatever reason i'm not so bored i'm actually amused and I don't want to talk about it right now. Maybe... Who cares? We know you You and Amber have so many um, physical ailments that you don't talk about because you don't want to get the backlash for people saying, yeah, you're not listening to us and uh, you keep uh, gaining weight. You keep flaunting that you're eating like crazy. As if somebody told you today's calories don't count. That's what you guys do every single day. And so, uh, hey. Down the line, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it right now. Then don't even mention it. Why try for um, clickbaiting it for monetary gain? No, I just don't want to talk about it. Uh, 
I'm just feeling like, you know, I just don't want to talk about, talk about it, I guess. <laughs> then why mention it again? Are you dense? Are you dense? So what could be the reason for that? For both of them, for Amber and Chantal, both bringing up a doctor's appointment and another health problem, um, because apparently she's been to the doctor because she said she has another health problem that she's getting medication for. So, so obviously she's been uh, to the doctor. So besides, besides the obvious reason that she needs money because her views suck, even um, with posting every day her views suck, so what could be the reason for her doing this? Because she wants the attention, uh, because, because she wants for people to speculate. What could be the reason? Or she really has another ailment and she doesn't want to talk about it because we've been saying that she has it. And that would only be her admitting to something else, just like she admitted to going to bed without washing her face. But uh, yeah, it's just pathetic at this point. I don't know not ready for the world to know certain we we have already analyzed the physical ailments that you must have that you haven't admitted to yet things maybe she saw all the um recordings and screenshots of her black uh uh the part you know the black parts on her feet so i'm i'm this way because i'm very tired and i'm just up but yeah, then turn the camera off and go night night. I wanted to do a weigh in and And you chose to do a fake one. And just see. Um I I opened my agenda and I felt sad because I have all these goals. And Yeah, yeah, you and Amber and the planners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, we were getting hyped up watching travel vlogs and things and I realized like where we're going to be traveling, it, it, I'm going to be needing to walk so much. You should not be even thinking about traveling in the condition that you're in, unless you want to croak in a third country. I mean, more power to you, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I did what I could in Thailand, but the trip would have been so much more enjoyable if I was in shape. Uh-huh. Um... Even for in shape people, where we're going is tough. <laughs> also, you already know where you're going because you know you're going to have to leave the country. Hmm. That couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that the uh, Kuwaiti Emir is cracking down on illegal immigrants, could it? Yeah, hydrate that out of shape body and think about what country you're going to go to next and uh, scam them into i don't know a visa tourist visa i don't know i wouldn't want to trade with her for five minutes what a life but i won't back down no your body's gonna do that for you it's gonna make the decision that it has had enough no i won't back down no you'll fall down Hopefully not face first, that is nasty to look at, you know. But then again, your face can't really hit the floor. If you drop like a board, let's let's look at it from... Of course, I can't show it to you, but try to imagine it. Um, seeing the side view, and she's dropping like a board because her heart finally gives out. Um, I doubt that her face is going to hit the floor with the uh, balcony, you know, the whole... Muffin top and fupa and uh, gunt going on. I don't think her face is going to hit uh, the floor. <sighs> yeah, what a life, Chantal, huh? What a corner you've backed yourself into. So, yeah. Yeah, and since she's bored and boring... I'm going to do what we talked about in the comments yesterday, and that is we're not going to listen to her bored voice, or at least I'm not going to have you do it. And so I'm going to translate, which means I'm going to let the video run. I'm not going to record it, but I'm going to record and tell you 
what she said. Let's do it because she's not motivated to do any kind of interesting blog and she's not good at being um, fake, uh, miserable and so let's do it. She's repeating that she has another health problem, the one that earlier she said she doesn't want to talk about and she feels defeated. Mm, okay. And she's going to have to work very hard to pick herself up today or else she could order some food um, eat the whole trough and then take another nap and for her new viewers which she doesn't have any because she definitely bought uh, those uh, last few subscribers that got her over the 100,000 subscriber edge she's explaining why she didn't show herself weighing in uh, because she has been watching too much of Amber and Amber has been um, using this excuse for years now um, that she only weighs, uh, she only steps on the scale in the nude and apparently she cannot show that and uh, so now Chantal is using that excuse too which of course is bullshit because the weight she told us today is not correct also interesting, she's still going on about the whole uh, that she doesn't want to put on clothes to get on the scale plus the, uh, the clothes are too heavy <laughs> yeah right, subtract 10 pounds then and show us getting on that scale. Uh, so she's looking into the camera and this is why I hate what she is doing. When she's doing live streams or mukbang, she hardly ever looks into the camera. She knows where the camera lens is. She's looking at it right now because she has to convince us that the lies she's telling us are true. Now she's trying to emphasize that her weigh-ins are correct and she's proven that when she went to the doctor's office and weighed a certain weight and then um, did a weigh in at home and weighed the same. It's all lies. She has visibly gained a lot of weight. Apparently she's forgotten that Pete's outed her in uh, manipulating her scale in Canada in such a way that it showed a hundred pounds less. Was it a hundred? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I don't want to say anything wrong. But I think I remember her, uh, him saying 100 pounds is uh, the difference between the true weight that should be shown and what actually showed. And, of course, the same speech that always comes from Amber. She has no reason to lie about her weight. Um, yes, she does, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to blatantly do mukbangs every single day with troughs of unhealthy food in front of her eating like somebody told her she has two minutes left to finish the plate that she just started and uh, there's a portion for four or five people in front of her and another TED talk about how change is pain and um, how uh, staying the same is also pain and uh, she's gonna have to change yada yada blah blah heard it all before she doesn't mean it she sounds like she's gonna fall asleep in this log now she's sounding like she actually thinks that she could make it to the age of 70 or 80 if she made certain changes right now. Mm -mm. If you make changes right now, you're probably going to make it to 50 if you're lucky, but no, nowhere past that. Mm -mm. Yeah, Saying that it's, it's a time for her to be accountable for uh, the way she eats and uh, we've seen the mukbang, she doesn't care, eats like an animal, portions way too big. And uh, so, yeah, miss me with all of that. I'm not buying it at all. And it's not because she's failed in the past and because she said the same thing over and over in the past. But look at her. She is full of shit. That is the look that you have on your face when you're trying to bullshit people. Look into her eyes. That is not a sincere look. That is not, oh, uh, all of a sudden I had an epiphany. Maybe I should change something about the way I eat. Mm -mm. This is her looking at the views probably prior to turning on the camera and saying, holy shit, I'm fucked. And not even on the um, on the couple's channel are they uh, pulling in the views. So they are fucked, both of them. Now she's going to try to make it a healthy day, only eat healthy foods. She doesn't mean it. She looks like she's about to fall asleep. Oh, she does know that eating loads of sugar is bad for somebody that has diabetes. She does know. Uh-oh. Remember all those times during her mukbangs when I said, yeah, well, she doesn't have diabetes. <laughs> That's probably why we're eating all the pasta and the rice. 
and so forth. So apparently she does know. So she just doesn't care in the mukbangs. Okay. She has to make that change. She has to make it now because the travel is coming up. Okay. That, that uh, just gives me the vibes of the last time she said she has to get ready for um, for travel. And so she has to get more into shape. And then she did one mukbang after another. Oh, she has to take the bull by the horns and make changes now. And as she says it, she looks at the viewfinder again. Trying to see if the e expression on her face matches what she's saying. So sick. These these ladies are so sick. Now she's recognizing that she doesn't have a whole lot of time left to dilly-dally around to postpone the changes. She has to do it now. Heard it so many times and she's right now in this moment giving off bullshit vibes. She is bullshitting and manipulating. She doesn't care. And we're in for more mukbangs. So she recognizes that this video is kind of bleak, but uh, she hopes that she's going to be able to make the changes. What ifs? Now oh, she's acknowledging that maybe she's not agoraphobic, which is what she mentioned in her last vlog, because she can leave the house. Well, yeah, duh. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking she doesn't want to leave the house anymore because, number one, she has absolutely no drive to move. You see that in the pool and you see that in in other vlogs too. She doesn't want to move. She wants to sit down. She wants to take a rest. She wants to, you know, gulp down those high caloric beverages. She has no drive in her life. Look, look at that pathetic look on her face. And she's not good at acting. And so you know this is real. She's feeling low energy. And that is because she's been eating like crap. And um, we were watching her. That's how we know. And we didn't even see every meal. Imagine that. Like if I ate like her, if I was forced to eat a portion that she downs for one meal or one snack, I wouldn't be able to eat anything for three days. And I am a food addict. So, you know. So I'm thinking, number one, she has no drive at all. Um, she has completely shifted all of the ways in which the brain can tell her, okay, we're having fun right now, to food. She has attached all of that to food. She cannot see a nice landscape and take that in and enjoy that and get joy from that. Um, she cannot read a good book. She doesn't read. She's completely uneducated in my books. Um, can't read a good book and say, oh, that was well written. Um, she cannot en even enjoy a meal. Even when it comes to food, she can't enjoy a meal because the taste buds are shot. And she can enjoy a good movie because she probably can't follow without having a trough of food in front of her. Everything. And, and you can train um, the brain to be this this sick this this um disordered um by constantly telling your your brain okay i'm sad i eat i'm mad i eat i'm bored i eat i watch tv i eat no matter what you do you always have to eat and so the brain says to you okay you are depressed we're gonna have to change that so get some food get some food get some food it's the only thing she knows because she never moves enough for serotonin to be released it's impossible she has completely changed her and it's been proven there are studies um uh, about that she's completely changed the um the biochemistry in her head to tell her no matter what happens in life food 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 and it's not just healthy food she was talking about it uh concerning the anime it doesn't it doesn't give her the happy feeling of course it doesn't cause it's not drenched in grease and not loaded with sodium so yeah, she's she's screwed. Again, I wouldn't want to trade with her for five minutes. And checking herself out in the viewfinder as she is telling the lies. She's talking about traveling the world. When um, any doctor worth a dime would probably tell her, you are not fit to get on another plane. Uh, you need to be monitored. You need to be monitored and also wait, let's say, once a week, once a month, whatever. Um, but she and Amber both need professional health care, and I mean supervision, too, you know. 
Yeah, she keeps sighing, probably trying to come up with things she could say now that would fit into the category of, I'm being pathetic. She needs a health arc. Uh huh. How much do you want to bet the next video is going to be a mukbang? She is thinking about starting a health group on Facebook. Okay. Are you going to post your mukbangs there? Oh, there's got to be people like her struggling with the same things. Well, what do you know, Chantal? They're in your audience and they've been trying for years, some of them, for years to try to make you see the light and to realize you don't have to be successful every single day, but you have to take your health seriously. You wouldn't listen. No, uh, you told your audience things like this. I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow? Oh, you know it. You know I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of you. And you're gonna eat it up and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> There's always Beezers who replace the fallen Beezers. That's what you don't get. I don't fucking need you. You were convinced that uh, people would keep coming to your channel, but you overestimated how many people are in this community that would watch bullshit like your content. And here we are. Now she's trying to find people that would hold her accountable or that are going through the same thing. Little, too little, too late. So, oh, she was feeling a bit down. And so, anyway, guys, she just felt like turning on the camera and let us in on uh, what she wants to bullshit us about now. So she admits to not having been eating well or, or healthy foods. And she's surprised by her way in, you guys. She is so surprised. Yeah, because it's a fake number you gave us. Now she's admitting to eating a lot on certain days. No, every single day. Otherwise, you would be losing weight. And um, she should be journaling. Yeah, sure. She, she has notebooks just like Amber does and she doesn't use them. Did she not show one? And, and that made me laugh too because Amber did the same thing a few days later. Um, you know, uh, having a food journal, like putting in what you snack on, like planning ahead, that's going to help us. Yeah, and then we saw a bunch of mukbangs where she ate troughs of unhealthy uh, food. So now she's circling back around to the thought that maybe she should be journaling. Okay, whatever. Yeah, she needs to journal like how she feels when she does it, when she overeats, which is every single day. She needs therapy, full-time therapy, and she needs inpatient care, just like Amber does. Holding another TED talk about how dia uh, diabetic people or people with diabetes too have to stay hydrated. Yeah, the, the sodies don't help. Honey bun, sweetie pie. Oh, she doesn't want to treat her body this way anymore. Okay, we've heard that before and then followed the mukbangs and the smirks into the camera. No, into the viewfinder at herself and at the feeders. Oh, she's so thankful for having a life and to be alive. Sure, it shows in every mukbang. She is trying to say that there's a wall around her and if she could only break through that wall, there's a life worth living. Yeah, it requires therapy because you're completely turning in circles. Health is wealth. What the actual F? She's saying no matter how much money you have in life, it means nothing without health. True dad. But whenever we see you shovel food into your face and sauce and dressing running down your face, it seems like you do not care. Maybe you should become more self-aware and... Uh, when you stare at yourself and the viewfinder during mukbangs, you should have a clear, a mentally clear moment, you know. She's saying that changing from um, a food addiction or from a, from a disorder concerning food or a bad relationship with food, uh, switching over to a, to a healthy living is like a grieving process. It doesn't have to be. You just have to apply self-control and self-discipline every once in a while. I'm a food addict. I haven't made it to your uh, uh, weight uh, at all because I see people like you completely given into food addiction and that's what keeps me from doing the same. And I still have the drive to move, to accomplish things in life and uh, that you can only do when you're self-aware. These two women are not self-aware. They are 
controlled by their boring lives that you know where they have changed the biochemistry in their brains to where the brain uh, says okay the only way i can make this body feel any happiness uh, happiness is when it is being shoveled into the mouth of this body uh, by eating all these unhealthy foods that trigger uh, the pleasure center in the brain that's all they have left and they have to become self-aware in order to fix that both of them okay so she she admits that she said it a thousand times but she hopes that this time it'll work they're gonna be slip ups yeah they're gonna be mukbangs in the future and i'm done with this she's just digging for words she's digging for content um to fill that time with and so i'm gonna move on because i don't find this even mildly interesting um since she said everything before and she's given off the bullshit vibe right now the manipulative vibe the the vibe that she just wants to say things that keep stringing her audience along and so i'm done with that so on to the live stream <laughs> what's up what's up hey yo feces shut up nobody wants to hear from you nobody wants to see you you are a piece of shit for what you've done to her even though not many people out here like her anymore but that was uncalled for so shut up dark but that's okay right yeah it's, it's relaxing <laughs> so much coming ah, something bit me in my face no way yeah yeah something bit you because you're not moving again standing in place let's see if that'll change oh this bug <laughs> what is it? Ew. I saw it bit me. Don't worry, baby. It's not harmful. I hope not. Watch tomorrow I turn into a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say hey before we go swim a bit? <sighs> Face. Blah, blah, blah. You know, tonight you want it, I guess? Yeah. So, I hate exercise. Okay. Oh, thanks, friend. It's in couch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, no. He escaped again. Seven minutes. And otherwise, almost. I love you guys. Eight minutes. Oh, okay. Floating in the water. Not swimming. Blah blah blah, we can't hear anything, which is fine. Guys, I want to make exercise, so. Okay, now the, uh, the camera gonna follow you. It's like sensor, okay? Okay. Like that. Okay. I feel the burn. I don't want to nitpick, but um, I'm into swimming and I was even on the school swim team and uh, her seeing her uh, her fingers spread apart alone. Th that is, I, I want to jump in there and say no and, and grab her hand and say, this is how you do it. This is how you push the water away. This is how you swim. This is how you move in the water or underwater or when i see her sticking her uh, a nasty feet out of the water same thing you you keep them under the water but then again it's all uh yada yada blah 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 fake at least there's some swimming going on so maybe she can keep the title life swim or whatever she titled this one She's barely moving ahead. How does she do that? But it's better than sitting on her ass and not doing anything. I give her that. <laughs> she finally reached the end of the pool. Don't inhale that mold all that much. Don't, don't. Get away from there. The <laughs> she completely blocked that light. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys. Nope, don't want to. Oh Ooh, god. Three a.m. creepy. Okay, let me front way. Could I? Yes, we did it very well. Very well. You need to take each class online. <laughs> Her fat keeps her afloat, which means she's doing nothing to burn calories right now. I'm gonna tuck in my shirt. What else? This is my favorite way of swimming with a frog. <laughs> This is not how frogs swim. What? Maybe Kuwaiti frogs do. Don't ask me why. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't ask me why. <laughs> okay, so why? <laughs> Another time. I don't know why, actually. I couldn't answer. Because... That's because, that's because... You're the loveliest man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Okay. You're welcome. The loveliest man. Her standards are so low. I get to the back. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, like swimming like this. Yeah. Less flapping. Stretching the body out. Hey Tracy. Open. Hey Sylvia. Everybody. Hello everyone. We're pulled. Shut up, feces. Nobody wants to hear from you. Freezing today. Getting in shape. Right. So, when are, go uh, are we going to see the mukbang from you inhaling another trough of unhealthy food after this swimming session? Hello to everyone we missed. <laughs> yeah, ghost face. I love uh, these swimming. Yeah, you shut up. We're gonna move ahead. Thank you. Carolina, no, no. In what front of the camera again. Body? Yeah, ba, 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 ba. Get away from the camera. Are you the best? Assistant? Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you, honey. So, I feel a lot better now. And in front of the camera so, again. What is your feeling? I'm not going to go. If you feel... Blah, blah. Look into your place. <laughs> doing things more than this yeah. you can. 37 minutes into the whole thing. Oh, oh thank you. Holding the camera and the microphone at the same time and also swimming. So, <laughs> just, uh, feces, shut up. Nobody wants to hear from you. Thanks. Good bits for you. No, because I've been just no floating and flapping the jaws. Okay. Oh, moving her arms. We have to. Okay. Yeah, we have to end the live, guys, and uh, we go take a shower. Yeah, yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Um, all right, that is it for me for uh, Chantal for today. And uh, yeah, nothing new to report. Same old, same old. Uh, even though it's good that she's at least moving. I mean, when she shows up at the pool, we know she walked all the way there. There's no way he drove her there. She actually walked there. And so she's moving a little bit, and so that's good. Uh, but the bullshit video prior to uh, the live stream, of course, none of it was meant uh, seriously. And so, yeah, be on the lookout for that next bookmark. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.